A significant weather pattern change is coming this week as much of the west gets more colder temperatures, more snow for the higher elevations, and more stronger winds. Whereas if you're east of the Rockies, it's going to be a whole different story as much of the Midwest and the eastern seaboard see well above average temperatures. So taking a look at the current weather conditions across much of the lower 48 states here in the United States, and we can see that Definitely some areas where it's raining, some areas where it's not raining at all, and where we're able to see what that big snowstorm did over the weekend. And you can see it right here. All of this snow that you see here, all that white is snow. It's not clouds. It's not fog at all. That is all snow and a lot of it. In fact, some areas here in Colorado have witnessed already three to four feet plus feet of snowfall thanks to that storm now that is over the Great Lakes dropping a little bit of rainfall and bringing some stronger winds but in the wake of that it's going to warm right back up so much of this snowfall is going to eventually be melting over the next week as we get southerly winds returning over much of the United States here east of the Rockies and we get more lower pressure and dropping all the way across the west bringing much colder temperatures and more chances of rain and unsettled weather so now putting this into motion here over the united states on the european model for the next couple of weeks here and you can see that areas where it's raining that's the green on your screen that you're seeing so you can see rain is falling across much of the eastern u.s over the southeast as well and portions of the great lakes like we just mentioned on the satellite imagery part of that upper level low that is moving across the region but guess what all of this in the high plains there's nothing but sunny skies this afternoon, clear skies if, uh, since it's getting dark already, and it's going to stay that way. So over the next couple of days, nothing to worry about at all over the high plains, over the northern plains, the deep south, maybe a couple of sporadic showers. But this Arctic high pressure system is going to be rotating through the area, bringing nice sunny skies to your area other than maybe some cooler conditions over the far northeast and eastern seaboard because of colder air advection but it's not going to last long because we have another system that's going to be developing and under the influence of southerly flow you're going to advect warmer air northward so yes might cool down briefly but then warm right back up to well above average temperatures possibly 20 to 30 degrees above normal in some spots very unseasonably warm for already most of November so far, or the first half of it at least, and it's going to stay that way. So yes, rain over Minnesota, Iowa, and Missouri, also in the deep south here. This is for Wednesday this week, so in about three or so days, you're looking at a chance of rain, and then that moves all the way across much of the eastern United States into the eastern seaboard by Thursday and Friday, while California, the Pacific Northwest, We'll get more chances of snow for the higher elevations, rainfall for the lower elevations, and of course, much colder temperatures are coming. We have had temperatures near average, which by the way is about 70 degrees this time of the year. That's average, but guess what? We're going to have some mid to upper 50s, maybe even some low 50s in some of the valley spots by Friday and Saturday. So yes, much colder air is coming in. You could see some record low temperatures in some isolated spots because of this colder air mass coming in across the West. Now you're probably wondering why has it been so warm? Never ending warmth across the Midwest and the Eastern seaboard. Well, when you take a look at our uh, 500 millibar geopotential height, this is basically showing us our different air masses. So if there's uh, bluer contours here, the uh, there's lower than normal height, cooler than normal temperatures usually follow, not always, but this gives us an accurate representation what our atmosphere is doing. So as we go over the next couple of days here, you can see this has been the big problem. Big culprit, big ridge of high pressure over much of the Midwest and the Eastern Seaboard. This ridge has not went anywhere at all lately. Ever since pretty much most of October and already going into November, this never-ending relentless ridge of high pressure has been parked over this area, keeping temperatures really warm, keeping conditions uh, very stable other than a couple of severe weather events that have been able to nudge that ridge eastward at times but in the long term we've had a lot of ridging over here across much of uh, east of the rockies 
over the last few weeks and that's going to continue unfortunately big ridge over the northeast that means temperatures are going to be above average other than maybe a trough of low pressure that moves through that ridge these short waves don't do a whole lot because then after that another ridge of high pressure is going to be building on it and you can see this again back again with the ridge all the way through next weekend that's through november the 16th and the 17th where look at the west gonna get below average heights below average temperatures more unsettled weather and that's what we like right and it's gonna stay that way because look at the ridge is gonna stay in parted over much of the eastern u.s whereas the west could still get these lower pressures so what does this mean as far as your temperature anomaly goes well definitely not much change expected in the forecast you can see maybe a cooler air mass or most likely a cooler air mass coming in according to the european ensemble forecast showing temperatures at least five to ten degrees below normal but that's all you're gonna get believe me it's not going to be cold for very long don't get used to it because guess what's going to end up happening temperatures are going to be warming up by the time we go into the end of this week into the week the middle of november weekend my birthday weekend we should say to be very warm with temperatures anywhere between five to ten degrees above normal that is actually more like 9 to 15 degrees above normal look at in canada here temperatures 25 degrees above average this is on the european ensemble all 51 members um showing most likely well above average temperatures and this is a blend of the averages showing us that and this is going to continue while the west look at seeing much below average temperatures and i'll show you that here on the climate prediction center just does not cool off very much until at least maybe 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 the 23rd or the 24th of november but even so temperatures will be near to slightly above average so essentially fall is not ready to come just yet and it's going to be a late start to fall for a lot of you east of the rockies unfortunately versus areas like us we have already began fall and it might even feel like winter before long by the end of this week as we get temperatures in the 30s the 40s and even in the 50s during the day yeah our average high here where i live is about 53 degrees in the middle of december and here it could be about 53 to 58 degrees by the end of this coming week so well below average temperatures are anticipated so what does the climate prediction center have to say all about this well definitely on the very warm side you can see through the 20th of november here this is the six to ten day temperature outlook and these are chances for temperatures to being above average and yeah look at east of the rockies you are very likely to have well above average temperatures especially in the great lakes and much of the midwest fall not ready to come yet versus the e or the western u.s like california nevada arizona the four corners in the pacific northwest going to feel much cooler all things to more unsettled weather these lower pressures these troughs moving on through going to bring in much cooler air out of alaska and so it's going to feel much cooler even alaska looking at a slight chance for temperatures to be below average and this continues all the way through the 24th of november unbelievable i mean still above average here i mean it's been a while since we have seen any blue demarcated over the northern plains over the great lakes over the northeast it's been quite some time and and, and that's because the way our pattern is just not conducive for any arctic intrusions yet and so right now through the 24th you're looking at a likelihood for temperatures to be an above average fall not arriving just yet and then across much of the west the pacific northwest and the desert southwest looking at slightly below normal temperature chances to near normal chances out there which is nice at least we can get still keep the streak going with below average temperatures it's nice to see a change after a hot summer back west that we just got done dealing with nearly a month or two ago now the only good news that i have to share with you all about this outlook is that areas that do have above average temperatures will get some rainfall so we're not looking at a dry hot or warm weather pattern it's going to be kind of humid it's going to be muggy kind of thing with leaning above to likely above average precipitation in areas in the darkest green you can see pretty much just about anywhere you go 
east of the out or west of the Appalachians point west going to look at at least some form of chances of above average precipitation whereas the eastern seaboard good luck I'm so sorry it's going to be dry there for you all living it along the Virginia coast if you're in New Jersey New York the metro area looking at near normal to below average now in the next 14 days, also looking wetter than average for the midsection of the United States, including for California, with below average up here in Montana and the Dakotas, versus if you're in the eastern seaboard, looking at near normal chances. So at least tilting the odds to more wetter conditions, perhaps by the second half of November for the eastern seaboard. But anyways, that is all that I have for today's weather discussion across the United States as far as any big weather pattern changes coming. If you found this video really detailed, very helpful, and very informative, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the like button, and share this video with your family and friends on social media. And I'll be sure to catch you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching.